Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Sorkey Formstead. So my name is Samantha. I'm the owner operator of a two acre Formstead here in Southeast Louisiana. And I'm out here doing my morning chores, thinking of what video I wanted to put out for you guys today. And I have decided we're fixing a breakdown. What's going on with Walmart, the prices of food and how Walmart's trying to phase out actual retail stores, right? And is organic really organic? You're not going to turn this off. So the other day I took my daughter shopping. She had used the Walmart app where you can pre-order and somebody put your order together and then you just pick it up or they deliver. Well, she had used that but not actually put her order in because that was her shopping list, right? No paper and pencil anymore for this generation. So we get to Walmart, we pick out every item on her list. We check out, we get in the vehicle, and my child says to me, Mom, my order was $40 more purchasing it in the store than on the Walmart app. I said, wait, wait, honey, that can't be right. We, bought, we purchased exactly what you had put in your basket, right? And she's like, yes, ma'am. The exact amount of items matched the... The brand, the size, everything. But if we would have allowed Walmart to shop for her, it would have been $40 cheaper. Guys, make that make sense to me. She shopped for herself, checked it out, paid for it, backed it, put it in the vehicle all by herself, and they charged her $40 more. We have a problem. So we Googled it and we really couldn't find an answer. And then she told me, before I moved to New Zealand in 2022, mom, she was working at Walmart. She said they were always talking about how they wanted to phase out the actual Walmart store and turn each Walmart store, the box store, into nothing but a warehouse where people pulled up and had their order brought out to them and placed in their vehicle. So that's Walmart's end game, to charge you $40 more to go shop for yourself. Think about that. And then while I'm on, you know, the internet searching for evidence of this for you guys, I find this clip about Walmart and the brown rice and how, first off, if you're buying a 20 pound bag of rice, go home and weigh it before you open it. They're saying they're only weighing about 13 pounds. Listen to this. rice now for a few weeks. I'm finding that though I, uh, I can still find it in some stores, it's not actually adding up to 20 pounds. A bag I put up yesterday came out uh, to 13 pounds and some change. Just wanted people to know to weigh the food they're putting away to be sure that they have the amount that they're aiming for. Mark 20 pound rice, it was finally available to order on Monday. I bought five bags, just checked again and can only order it uh, none on the store shelf. I spoke with two store associates and a manager about the issue. They searched their store device apps for it, did a deep dive to search further, and they were puzzled as well because it was showing as if the item was discontinued. But not um, head scratchingly, they were uh, confused uh, the 20 pound bags of brown rice were on clearance. We don't have a shortage of rice out there supposedly, so buy truckloads of rice, dump it into plastic bags, and then ship it to the stores. Uh, the supply chain on this really plastic bags, getting the plastic bags over to the printer, and then connecting the printed plastic bags with the So right. what do we know so far? It's cheaper to order your food on the Walmart app and let somebody else shop for you, okay? We also know Walmart is trying to phase out the box store so you can shop for yourself like a human and you have to use it as a warehouse only. Now we know that there is an issue with certain products. You can find it on the own store app, but there's a limit to how many you buy. And if you go into the store, they're not gonna have it. Now for you guys that have been around for a couple of years, you're gonna notice that about a hundred of my videos have disappeared. Well, 
they've not really disappeared. I was able to reapply to the partnership program to finally get paid for my very hard work here on YouTube, which hasn't happened in about six months, you guys. So everybody say a little prayer. I went through and deleted anything that I thought they would say had reused content in it. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated. Now, if you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button, like, and put a comment. So if you were on a budget, I highly suggest you put your order in on the online app, see what it's gonna cost. And then if you go into the store, supposedly any item that is priced cheaper on the online app, you can go to customer service or manager and ask them to change the price. Hopefully that'll help some of you who are trying to manage in this economy. Now we need to discuss organic foods. Most of you know that I run a sustainable two acre farmstead, right? I do biochar, which is that right there. I do my own composting. I do my own worm castings, folks. I raise rabbits. I feed them from the garden and then I put their manure back in the garden to grow my food in a sustainable nutrient dense catch cycle. Well, I'm hearing rumors that farms are being shut down by the thousands of acres across America. And guys, it's not a rumor. It is the hey, truth. Michigan, New York, and Tennessee. The presence of these chemicals has not only raised concerns about the health of the farmers, but also the safety of their livestock and the crops. <laughs> You're not kidding. And in some instances suggested harm to animals and con contamination of the uh, produce. So the widespread contamination of agricultural lands by these chemicals is just beginning to be fully understood. Yeah. In Michigan, to give you some idea of the scope of this, in Michigan, uh, one of the initial states to examine chemicals and sludge used as fertilizer, authorities closed a farm after discovering unusually high levels of these substances in the soil. And where the livestock were grazing. This year, the state permanently banned agricultural use of the land. Can't use the land anymore. However, Michigan has not expanded these tests to other farms due... <laughs> Why aren't we testing the other farms? Due in part to worries about the financial impact on the agricultural sector when they discover the same chemicals all over the place. So here we have just this issue, folks. I remember when they began to do biosolids and manure remediation across the United States. And basically, they would take human waste, you heard me right, human poop and pee, and they would fix it and then they would sell it. They would sell it as biosolids, right? And a lot of farms were purchasing it through grants through the government. So the government would basically say, hey, we'll pay you to take this poop from this community and put it on your field and grow food. I mean, like, who can find any reason to complain about that, right? Well, they did it. And now they're finding that Forever chemicals, as well as heavy metal contamination and pharmaceutical contamination is happening, not only for livestock, but also fruits and vegetables. And if that's happening in America, we really need to consider why we're accepting food from third world countries like China and Mexico, where they use gray water, which is the same thing, folks, okay? Just not in a biosolid, it is a liquid gray water to grow fruits and vegetables. Now, this gentleman makes a comment about organic vegetables. That Listen. organic label. Sorry, but you can look into it yourself. You can look into it and see if what I'm saying is true or not. I'm just warning you, do what you want with that information. So I did go research it, because that's what I do. What I found was that he is incorrect in a couple of things. If you are buying organic food, then you can be rest assured biosolids either in a compost or in just the solid has never been placed on the fields where that food is being grown. It's not allowed. And it hasn't been since the 90s, like 1990, okay? Now, what I did find was this bit of confusion right here. 
where it says, but it can be used on a farm. So I, I don't understand that wording and I'm gonna have to dig a little deeper. If you do, if you know what they mean with that one sentence, please drop it in comments for everybody else so we can all be educated together. Because I think for most of us, when we buy organic, we're wanting something that's not gonna have human manure on it. A lot of you that have watched me for a while know that I work with the USDA and RCS and I've taken food safety classes for something called FISMA which is a Food Safety Modernization Act. They are so picky about the organic label and growing food now in the United States that if my organically raised chickens, if I use their litter, like the compost that they make for me within so many months of the fruits and vegetables coming to maturity in my garden, I can't sell it. So I have to keep detailed records of when I use manure in my garden and when the food is produced to keep you safe. So I'm very confused how waste treatment facilities got into this let's sell human manure to farms in the U.S. and it got through the FDA and the EPA and the USDA. Like the alph alphabet groups are just failing. Now most of you know our book is almost ready to go to the publisher. I'm going to finish up here with this video. I'm going to get inside finish fluffing it, get it to the publisher. But if you would like to help us with the cost of advertising, I'm gonna drop in comments the ways that you can do that. We really appreciate even a dollar, folks. There's 51,000 of us. Well, I could really advertise with 51,000. <laughs> but we would appreciate it because these videos do not get monetized. Now, the last clip I wanna show you guys, and I have to show you this, ignore the language, not my video, but I think it's hilarious in the sense they go from frequencies with trees all the way through the different types of milks and what is safe and what is not. Love you guys. Have a blessed day. Use this knowledge sparingly. Have a good day, guys. Would you eat this lab Oreo for $300,000? They say it tastes better and it's much healthier than the regular Oreos. Would you eat it? Let me know. You drinking 2% milk? Please pour it out. Stop drinking from other animals. You not no fucking cow. Who milk is worse? That shit is full of saturated fat. If you see your mama pick this up, then tell her put it back. Don't ever pick up soy milk. That shit is GMO. It causes all kind of health problems. Let that unhealthy milk go. 1% skim milk. Hot. They say the fat is lower. Keep drinking from cows and watch your mental speed start getting slower. Almond milk is good, right? Sorry, that is bad too. Dr. Sippy said it's iron not up in it. Damn it's true. Stop drinking oat milk. It causes diabetes. I thought it was good too, but nobody ever teach me. Rice milk? Hell no. Please throw that shit away. Silk milk? Hell no. I ain't screaming dairy cake. Flexi milk? Hell no. If you drink this, please go pray. Arcus, please tell us what's the best milk that we can drink. Coconut milk, of course. Walnut milk, of course. Hempsey milk is the best because your cells it will get nourished. What milk do you drink? It better not be from no animal. Send us to unhealthy milk drinkers. Tell them the land.